So this is the month of February, and February is known for several things. Um, my mom's birthday, the day the music died, both February 3rd. Uh, President's Day, I don't remember the date of President's Day. Uh, my sister Katie's birthday, February 10th. And Valentine's Day, February 14th. Also, short month, leap year, things like that. Anyway, not the point. Well, kind of the point. Uh, one of those things that I mentioned is Valentine's Day. So I decided that this month in my videos, I'm going to kind of focus on, like, love and all that garbage that goes with Valentine's Day. So, in this, my first video in the month of February, which was supposed to have been posted last week, I'm sorry, uh, I want to talk about... um my favorite Valentine card that I ever got. I was in fourth grade. No one else gave me a Valentine. But one of the girls in my class noticed. Her name was Lisa. And she crossed out her name on the Valentine and put it in my, in my Valentine collector thing. And I didn't notice that she did that. But it said, I choo choo choose you. And, man, Long story short, uh, I thought that she had a crush on me, and my dad is the chief of police, so he got me tickets to Krusty the Clown's comedy special live, and her brother Bart was jealous, and yeah, it was a long, complicated story. We ended up playing husband and wife in the President's Day pageant, and man, in the end, she gave me another Valentine that said, let's be friends, and had a picture of a bee on it. Did I mention that the I Choo Choo Choose You had a picture of a train? That's the short version of the story. It's It should take about 18 minutes plus commercials, but yeah. Um, but in all seriousness, that, by the way, is a really funny episode of The Simpsons. I can't remember the name of it, but I think it's season five. I'll put the name probably over here somewhere and exactly what episode it is. Anyway, uh, for real, my favorite Valentine is this Valentine. You probably can't read that on the camera. So you're like, dude, that's just two hearts and some glitter and stuff. Let me read to you what this Valentine says. Jeremy, that's me. Happy unimaginative consumerist-oriented and entirely arbitrary, manipulative and shallow interpretation of Romance Day. Yeah. Let's read that again. Happy, unimaginative, consumerist-oriented and entirely arbitrary, manipulative and shallow interpretation of Romance Day. Uh, one of, actually, I think two of my coworkers, like three years ago, made valentines for all of us at work and they were really cool like this and this is definitely my favorite valentine i've ever received because it pretty much says it unimaginative consumer oriented consumerist oriented i'm sorry arbitrary manipulative shallow interpretation of romance absolutely valentine's day is a stupid holiday i mean it does kind of make you think like hey What's going on? Why am I 31 and about as single as they come? And uh, and I guess that's why people call it Singles Awareness Day. But, um, yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to wish you all a happy unimaginative... Happy, unimaginative, consumerist-oriented, and entirely arbitrary, manipulative, and shallow interpretation of Romance Day. To you. Also, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share this video on Facebook, uh, like me on Facebook, and read my blog. Cool. See you in my next video.